everybody. I'm Rich G. And I'm BJ Flagg, and this is episode 321, When to Scale, Signs It's Time to Expand Your Business. Yeah, imagine this. Your sales are up, your customers are happy, and every morning you wake up to an inbox full of opportunities. It's what every business owner dreams of, right? But here's the million-dollar question. Is your business ready to grow? In this episode, we will uncover the six pivotal signs that suggest your business might just have to uh, be ready to leap into a small pond to a big lake. We'll walk you through the actionable steps and tools that can help you gauge whether you're set for expansion or need to pump the brakes and steer your focus elsewhere. Yeah, whether you're like a local bakery sensation, and I know a few of those, on the verge of going regional, or even like a tech startup with eyes on the global prize, knowing when to scale is critical. So let's get ready to expand our horizons, sharpen our focus, and take that next big step with confidence. So let's buckle up and get into it. Action number one. Conduct a comprehensive business health check. This is the most important thing you need to do first. We're talking top to bottom. Can your business grow? That's your biggest question. Are your accounting skills, you know, everything ready to go? Are you in the right mindset to grow? What about your team? There's so many things that you need to really look and create a business health check to make sure you're confident that things can happen. Yeah, I had a, I was working with a client and the problem was he kept wanting to grow. It's like, well, I want to move from here to here and I want yeah. to open up a location. I go, are you ready to do that? And he was like moving at light speed and he got into a bad lease contract. And oh. No, he only stayed there for like three or four months. And then he goes, I need to grow bigger because I'm getting clients, lots of clients. I need to go to a bigger place. And so he actually ended up going to, and I kept telling him, you need to slow down. He moved to like a 5,000 square foot place and he was paying a tremendous amount of money in his contract and he was stuck in his old contract so he kept having to pay rent to that person and that person wouldn't let them out and so oh my it, gosh it ultimately just killed his whole business so okay not good you have to check you have a health check first so action number two optimize business operations infrastructure take us into this rich yeah combine examining your business infrastructure and operational foundation Ensure that current operations are efficient and have the capacity for scaling. This is the time to analyze what operational processes need to scale and what ones need to be replaced. And this is a hard part. It's like you need to understand if you're getting bigger and bigger, it could be a number of different systems and operations that need to scale. And if they're not going to scale, you might need to buy new technology, new machinery, new t- uh, new areas to grow. You might need to buy more desks and chairs in a, uh, a, a conference room and stuff. Infrastructure yeah. also plays a major part. Do yeah. You and you know, where in... you are or do mm-hmm. you move? Right. That's a big big decision. And also, you know, in this hybrid um, economy that we have going right now, people working at home and all that kind of stuff, this could take an IT structure uh, to its limit. And you really need to be able to feel like you're growing well. You know, if you're growing organically, you can make those decisions. Those are smaller decisions. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a bigger scale up. And Rich, when you were talking about this uh, one client you had, um, he he probably wasn't getting the right advice from his accountant, his lawyer, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, it's, and that, it's that so was true. an issue. Yeah. Well, let me take you to, this, to action number three. 
assess team readiness and support structures. Take a look at your team. Are they in the right roles? Do they have the right attitude to scale up? This is so important. You know, you get, you'll get people who are so devoted when you're a smaller group and they're so interesting. And they will slowly take on other responsibilities until you actually have a person who has the complete skills to do that. This is the time to get a little more serious about that. Also, take a look at those support structures. Is your Are your human resources where they need to be to take on this type of a challenge? There will have to be added employees. There's issues that come up. What's the handbook look like? You know, and if you're handling all the hiring processes now, you're going to need a bigger solution to be able to accommodate any type of growth. Yeah, it, 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 there's one issue I've run into with a number of clients where they wanted to grow their business, but people that work for them were fighting against it because they were afraid of the growth or they were uh, afraid that they would be let go or uh, they would be left behind. Also, human resources, you, you might need to start your own department because as you start growing and as you start getting bigger, a, a certain part of your role is constantly hiring people because yeah. people are going to leave. So you constantly hire people and they need to be that machine that are bringing people in and you're interviewing them and stuff. Yeah. And between you and the human resource department, you're going to notice that people will be able to address issues they can't address with you and they need a person to be able to talk to. So yeah. it's a good thing to look into that. Well, action four is you need to secure financial resources and also legal compliance. Okay. Combine assessing funding options and ensuring all legal and compliance checks are in place for its expansion. Um, you need to meet with, and this is imperative. I say this to every one of my clients. Some clients listen, some clients don't. Meet with your accountant, your tax person, your banker, and your attorney to ensure every contingency is accounted for. They can help you figure out what you need to do when and what not to do. They're going to be your guides in the in the forest because you've never done this before. They're going to help you do it. Yeah. And I think, you know, one of your biggest things that you have to think about is that you may have self, um, up to this point, you might have bootstrapped. Up to this point, you may have taken out loans that you could secure. Very, you know, not not very big ones. We're talking about something where you're going to do an actionable thing. Is this going to be a time when you're going to have a venture capital situation happening? Are you going to look for investors? So these are larger issues that even you might just not have that experience with. So it's a good time to make sure you're structured. The people who are around you are really good and can handle it for sure. Action number five, validate your customer satisfaction and retention. If you already have a, a customer satisfaction process in place, kudos to you. That is actually the best thing, uh, good foundation. But this all will need to be expanded upon. It is amazing what can happen when you're going through the growing pains and that type of thing. You'll all of a sudden bump into a little something. So bear in mind, you just need to be able to be um, looking out for things. As far as retention goes, these are your loyal employees. Rich talked about these people. They're worried. They're, they're, they might not be completely on board with a gigantic growth. I like working for a tiny, you know, a smaller firm, and they're worried about their own job security. Well, this is the time to create a seamless model for growth and flexibility for new issues. And there's a lot of change going on for the company. And it's a great time to say, hey, we grew organically and now we're going to be scaling. So it's a different environment. And just be aware that some people might need a little extra attention. Yeah, the big thing with customer satisfaction and retention is sometimes when you grow, you get a new location 
and your customers don't know where you are or your customers yeah. don't like where you are now located or uh, there could be a million things. So you need to take that into account when choosing, when you're growing a new location, a different location. It was kind of funny. I actually went uh, to a dentist yesterday, a different dentist, and I actually had to pay for parking. And, and it, you know, it's a little thing, but it was like, wait a second, I, you're not going to validate. I actually have to pay for parking to go to my dentist where yeah, everywhere yeah. else I'm not in the city. This was like rural and <laughs> I, it was a little thing, but that affects that's that retention. You might lose customers because of that. So yeah, uh, understand yeah. when you make these growth choices, there are uh, balances that need to happen. Well, exactly. our final action, action six is Develop a scalable business model and strategic plan. Once you've gone through these top five actions, it's now time to build that model. Adjust your business model to be scalable and create a strategic expansion plan with clear milestones and responsibilities. Here's, here's the best part. This isn't the end of your growth. This just yeah. might be an interstitial stepping stone to even bigger and better things for your business. Don't think small. Keep your growing hat on. This is just a, a, a you're just in the middle of your growth. So keep on going. Yeah, I always think of this as a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you start out with the 30 pieces, you get everything all set, and then you realize, wait a minute, no, my, my puzzle has 50, 500 pieces. And you get going and, oh, wait, no, there's a thousand pieces. You really want to make sure that you're ready for everything that could happen. It's so exciting. It's probably the most exciting part of your business experience. Um, so get ready. Just jump in and you'll love it. So take us into some resources that might help people. Excellent. Well, we have some great resources today. Uh, the, uh, we have two books and two websites. The first one is, the first book is called Scaling Up, How a Few Companies Make It and Why the Rest Don't. And it's by Vern Harnish. This book is a favorite among entrepreneurs and offers practical tools and techniques for building an industry dominating business. It's gonna help you scale up. Remember, it's not just getting a new location. It's all those other things that we've talked about today. And this book will help you. Yeah, I love this one. It's called Blitz Scaling, The Lightning Fast Path to Growing Massive Valuable Companies. It is uh, Reed Hoffman and Chris Ye. Great book. Reed is the co-founder of LinkedIn. And he provides insight into the strategies companies like, well, I don't know, Airbnb, WeChat, um, use to increase and um, capture global markets. Pretty exciting book. Excellent. And now our two websites, our first website is, it's called Inc. Scale. And the website uh, address is incinc.com scale slash scale. And that's Inc. Magazine's dedicated section for scaling businesses. And it features articles, advice, and case studies on growing your business effectively. So this is a website you definitely should bookmark and go to on a frequent basis if you're in the process of, of scaling your business. I, I love it because it has such interesting stories about things that people did. It's a great one. You got to go to that one. The other one is the Scale Up Institute. It's a, a UK firm, uh, scaleupinstitute.org.uk, and it offers a wealth of research, resources, and um, you know recommendations for businesses looking to scale. They provide information on various uh, aspects of scaling and funding and infrastructure uh, things to international expansion. So that's a great one for someone who wants to go global. Excellent. So that's it. Thank you for tuning in to the Best Small Business Show. If this episode has been valuable to you, subscribe and share it with other budding entrepreneurs who could benefit. 
You can reach out to me at richg.com and find BJ at newrenew.com. Thanks to our editor and producer, Richard Scalzo, and have an unbelievable week. We'll catch you later.